Alright, this is called the MAF process for solving a quadratic equation. Um, basically, you like to write M, A, and F on the right side. What this stands for is multiply um, what two numbers add to and then what their factors are. So the M comes from what you get when you multiply a 4 and a negative 9. So you take the front, the front term, the leading number in the quadratic equation, and then your constant term, and you multiply those two numbers together and get M. In this case, it's negative 36. The a term is what you is always like your b value of your quadratic equation. If you think of ax squared plus bx plus c, or it's the number that goes with the x, however you want to think about it, but it's negative 5 in this case. And now comes kind of the trickiest part of the whole process, and for a lot of people, because it is just the process, and that is um, what are the factors of negative 36 that add to negative 5? So at this point, you know, usually students take a minute, look at their calculators, a lot of different ways you can find these factors, but because, you know, I just know this, it's negative 9 and positive 4. So those are the two numbers that multiply to negative 36 but add to a negative 5. So what do we do with those? Well, now you take these two factors and you put them into two binomials like this. Okay, so you take the x minus 9 and x plus 4. Okay? But MAF is a little different than MAG because I have to take into account the fact that the leading coefficient was a 4. So to do that, I divide both of the two factors by 4. And that usually, that usually takes care of um, the problem of not having the correct, the correct zeros or the correct uh, factors there. So um, if you want to completely factor it, um, you reduce this one. 4 over 4 is 1. This cannot be reduced. So what you do, a lot of times, teachers will tell us uh, to pull that out front. So it's 4x minus 9. All right, it's still equal to 0. So now the zero products property tells us either 4x minus 9 equals 0 or x plus 1 equals 0. And then you solve both of these equations. Add a 9 to both sides here. 4x equals a 9. Divide by 4 x equals 9 fourths. In this case, it's really pretty simple. x equals negative 1. So you see you get your two equations using the MAF process, x equals 9 fourths or x equals negative 1.